Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, and welcome back to Nuclear Competition. Disclaimer, uh, these are my seven favorite or most commonly used mods, some of them I never used, some of them I did, but this is just my personal opinion and uh, please check out the mod workshop, there's a lot of wonderful modders there and a lot of wonderful mods, so please do check them out. We're gonna be grading these nuclear power plants in the end, the only thing that is important, we will see the power, we will see the consumption of nuclear fuel, but uh, the thing that I'm looking at now will Will be which one is the most productive fuel compared to how much how much power you get for your fuel how much bang for your buck okay let's start first one Obdin's nuclear power plant made by mr. Novo 300 megawatt hours of power 0 0.002 tons of nuclear waste and this is exact some amount of nuclear fuel that it consumes fun fact this is the world's first nuclear power plant made by Soviet Union Mr. Benko 54, this is a nuclear twin nuclear pressurized water reactor. It produces 2,826 megawatts of power, produces as well 0 0.014 tons of nuclear waste, that would be 14 kilos, and consumes 0 0.03 tons of nuclear fuel, that would be 30 tons of nuclear fuel. Fun fact, this is a model of a Switzerland Beznau nuclear power plant. RBMK 1500 Ignalina uh, reactor number one out of two. This nuclear power plant produces 7,205 megawatt hour of electricity, produces 33 kilos of nuclear waste, and produces and uses 74 kilos of nuclear fuel to produce this energy a day. Fun fact, this is Lithuanian nuclear power plant located in Lithuania. It's closed now. When it was operating, it was producing 70% of Lithuania's power consumption and it was 25% of Lithuania's power production, so they produced a lot of electricity. Twin nuclear reactor power plant or twin reactor nuclear power plant made by Mr. Benko54. You can find this mod in the description of the video. This one produces daily 3,402 megawatt hours of electricity, produces 17 kilos or 0 0.017 tons of nuclear waste and uses 0 0.035 tons of nuclear fuel. Fun fact about this nuclear power plant, you can find it in the description of the video. Dirty Dirk. Mr. Dirty Dirk made this nuclear power plant, Yongbyon ELVR nuclear power plant. So this is a small nuclear power plant that produces 1660 megawatt hours of electricity, produces 0 0.05 tons of nuclear waste and uses 0 0.01 tons of nuclear fuel. Fun fact, North Korea. And again Mr. Dirty Dirk. He has VVER slash 1000 V slash 320 nuclear power plant. So this is a nuclear power plant, probably the most common one you can find in the Soviet Union, so or, or Russia today and some other countries. This was originally produced for Ukraine, Bulgaria, Czech Republic, and of course Russia. This nuclear power plant produces 4720 megawatt hours of power and produces 0 0.016 tons of nuclear waste. In the process, it uses 0 0.036 tons of nuclear fuel. Fun fact, it was built everywhere. This is one of the most common ones. Mr. Benko 54, double twin nuclear reactor power plant. Right, this one produces 15,210 megawatt hours of power and produces 0 0.091 tons of nuclear waste. In the process it uses 0 0.13 tons of nuclear fuel. Fun fact, real life, no. In game fact, this is the biggest power plant in the game. So there you go, we have lucky number seven, seven nuclear power plants. I'm gonna leave it for a second for you to tell me which one do you think is the most efficient one and then I will show you the lineup. I will present one by one. 
So, what do you say? Again, delay. So, the biggest nuclear power plant by production would be, more or less, you can tell it by the size of them. Uh, double twin nuclear reactor has 15,000 megawatts, as you already saw. Second one would be Ignalina, that would be 7,205 megawatts. And then you have VVER. After that, you have the uh, twin reactor nuclear power plant. And then you have Switzerland one, twin nuclear pressurized water reactor. North Korea would be number six, and the smallest one out of these seven would, kneel, would be the first nuclear power plant in the world, that would be Obninsk. And the least efficient power plant is number seven, that would be twin nuclear pressurized water reactor. It produces 94,200 megawatts of electricity for 30 kilos of nuclear fuel. Number six, twin reactor nuclear power plant, it produces 97,200 megawatt hours of electricity for 35 kilos of nuclear fuel. Number 5, RBMK slash 1500 nuclear power plant Ignalina comes at number 5 with 97.365 megawatt hours. So 97,365 megawatt hours of power for 74 kilos of nuclear fuel. And place number four, or also known as wooden metal, goes to double twin nuclear reactor power plant, 117,000 megawatt hours of electricity for 130 kilos of nuclear fuel. Bronze, third place, VVER slash 1000 V slash 320 nuclear power plant, 131,000 and 111 megawatt hours of power for 36 kilos of nuclear fuel. And it shouldn't come as a surprise that winner is the best Korea. So Yongbyon, <laughs> Yongbyon reactor is the most efficient one. Yongbyon reactor can produce 166,000 megawatt hours of electricity for 10 kilos of nuclear fuel. We're just gonna mention that Obninsk came second, silver, with 150,000 megawatt hours of electricity for uh, one ton of nuclear fuel. So these are the most efficient nuclear power plants we have. The most efficient one being the North Korean one. Now bear in mind, you wouldn't be using this. This is a small nuclear power plant. If you have a nuclear industry, you probably already have some kind of money to develop something. Well, let's face it, nicer looking. Uh, that's it. I have a little bit of a bonus for you. First of all, tell me, did you guess? If you guessed, I'm gonna see in the comment section. Um, if you didn't, it doesn't really matter. I hope you guys are having fun, but the bonus. And for the bonus, we have nuclear reprocessing plant. This, if you have a functioning nuclear industry, this is definitely that you something that you want to have. So what it is is this is nuclear reprocessing plant made by Banco 54. You're gonna find this link to this mod in the description. Uh, this is something that you definitely want to have. And both of the entrances to the factory need to be connected to the road. Just heads up, you can't use only one. So you have to connect both of them. This is the facility that uses a lot of a lot of chemicals and produces from nuclear fuel uranium hexafluoride if you supply it with electricity chemicals and nuclear waste you will get uranium hexafluoride and uh, decent amounts of it as well right that's it seven deadly sins and reprocessing plant guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think Smash the, the like button, ring the notification bell, hit the comment section, all that good stuff. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.